Hello. In this video, I want to look onto our applications, Vu and Terrigen. Those people who work with 3D environmental render and some CG environment, you're probably familiar with one of those or maybe with both. But here's a common question that many times people ask, which one is better, which one should work with. So I want to look on them. But you know, I don't want you wait, and it will be a long review, I don't want you wait on this. Just tell you up front that it's no clear winner. One application is good for something, another one is good for another things. So the not so thing says, just go and get this one, or just go get that application. It's not. It will be plus and minus on both. And tell it true, I work with both of them all the time. I work with Terrigen for one project, I work with Vue for another one. So it just depends what is needed. What I want to do in this video is just showing you and go over some features. And again, this is, will be my personal opinion on what application is good for me and what is not on good. And based on this, maybe it's help you decide. And if you have a choice between one or another applications, I hope these kind of plus and minuses let you kind of more look on which way you want to go. So um, overall, it is, as I said before, it's not get this or this it's not clear winner one better another ones the both good the both going in a little bit different areas okay but so um let's look right now in the videos and just go over those features plus and minuses see what they do so let's go ahead and jump to the screen okay so let's go ahead and look on a terrigen and i want to start with uh, some minuses first and Again, this is my personal look on this. It's not necessary. You maybe find it's pluses for you. However, personally for me, this is a little bit minuses. And it doesn't mean application is bad. It's just something I wish it was improving. First off, it's a user interface. So if I look on how it's adjustment and everything, and that is a not very easy task to change UI. I'm a geek, I'm a programmer by myself, so I know how much effort and everything going towards this. So I'm not just saying it is snap your fingers like in an um, infinity gauntlet, you know, and make it done. So no, it's take a lot of work towards this. However, uh, UI is dated. It's early 2000s. UI, it is uh, somewhat a little bit confusing in areas where it's like hated. Uh, not very clear defined so it's almost somebody need come there with fine comb and go and redesign all ui and it's not house again it's not very easy task because blender just recently adjust and switch to the normal buttons on the mouse that all other applications so and they have it way bigger dim so how say it's not very easy task to do um but speaking about ui also i wish it's have a drag and drop so right now if i need create an object I need to go to add object, object, and I need to select from here. With other applications like Vue, for example, I can just take object, drag, and drop, and it will be placed in a location. So in here, I need actually or create the node for my object or using my drop down to actually create import of object and import this way and after place it on location. So it is a little bit hard because if you have a thousand objects you need to do this a thousand times um, if you need individual point we don't speak about distribution or other ways okay uh, for population systems just if you need individual put building so it is take a time and a drag and drop will be very nice because you can grab it elements um a bx whatever you have this drag or object drag on a plot and i don't personally think it's maybe that hard to do actually because it will can on a back end creating the same object importer and just put in location when you drop because you already if you know you have it, your measurement you already can receive your location x y on this case so it's not that uh to do so just put it your importer on that place that will be nice drag and drop options but again that's one and the next ui again if we speak about cameras the sum of this is confusing with cameras um, almost any element when you take it it's need a little bit more polish it's needed going and work so sometimes if you just start working with Terrigen I know how it can be frustrated and I meet some people who get very frustrated one person he even created uh, I think he paid for some service on a YouTube uh, for the people and they just spam on YouTube a bunch of videos negative about Terrigen which is 
was totally unfair, and I don't speak about how professional it was done, but it's totally unfair and um, very biased. However, but it is bring the point about some people get frustrated with UI because they don't understand. Um, I speak about UI and uh, all objects in this case. They also, they don't, um, Terrigen does not have it sculpting tool. So what is meaning it is if I want sculpt my 3D like in a ZBrush or even in a Turing Editor in Vue, I cannot do inside the Terrigen. So I need to do this or by using painting shader so I can go inside the shader, uh, go to my color shader paint, uh, paint. I can do from this one and when start painting. Okay, so I can do, uh, let's go right here, maybe start. So and I can paint around change this way and I can use my paint shader afterwards for um, to apply or material distribution or change shape of terrain or do other stuff so I can do this way but again it was not directly sculpting it's more as the displacement affecting so that is kind of um, a little bit negative there of course plants plants they are using and we compare with plants and other even with my and other ones we don't even speak about Vue because Vue have it excellent plants, I think, integration. Uh, for example, here is all solid and you're using them as objects so they cannot really animate. You can have it pre-animated plants but not really affecting by wind and other movements and everything. So I'll give you as example in a Vue, it's very strong plants. They even have it, the plant factor now integration and when you purchase, uh, when you subscribe, you're actually getting all of that. But their plants is respond to the season, to the how old growth, they can change animation, they change with the wind, with the, all the stuff. So it's a very flexible, very living ecosystem almost there. Um, here you only have it static plants. Again, I don't know how you can do with that. It's required quite a bit engineering and uh, software engineering on that to create it. But it is the one of the minus versus the Vue. Um, clouds is very nice. They added new clouds, all the system. It still need a little bit more with volumetric, mostly when you go through the clouds, all effect, but it is there. Uh, render in the current version, the path tracing render is very good. It's worked very nice, um, creating very realistic. And one thing it's what I found, and we can actually start kind of going towards the process that out of the box, if I open Vue and Terrigen, Terrigen will produce, to me, a little bit more realistic look render. It's look more real, like live render, than in Vue. However, I do a lot of illustrations and I can do more vivid, nice colors inside the Vue than inside the Terrigen. So if I do my illustrations, I will use the Vue render. If I need to use it more realistic, I can do inside the detergent. However, Vue does have a photometric render right now, which allowed you to create a very nice render, but you still need a little bit tweaking with those rendering. And inside the detergent, when you have your renders, it is not over complex. You can set up a lot of uh, Options including new path tracer, which is kind of work very well and create very nice, but again, it's easy to do. Um, uh, again, point back, it is UI a little bit updated and some information, I think some not very descriptive. For example, if we're going to um, shader, let's go to Power Fractal example. I know some people get confused what does it lead in scaling? And you can just say larger scale, smaller scale, larger scale. It's all what you need to say. And people will understand, oh, okay, it's larger object, this meaning size. So sometimes the naming can be a little bit tweak and adjusting, I think. But overall, it is render. And render is very fast in Terrigen. So compared to Vue, um, because Vue render a little bit different how it works. So it's different render engines, but if you just render Scenery in a Terrigen produce realistic look and it's produced in a fraction of the time that we are taking to re render. I do like, and I showed before the painting, I do like the painting tool 
inside the church and better because I can open paint and I can paint on the terrain ridge if I want to create canyon or anything I can just paint over use it as a displacement and it will be there so it's very very nice tool and as a displacement I think the displacement it is the best things that interrogen it's way ahead how it's work versus Vue and it's one of the strongest things it is how it work with displacement in a Vue when I need placed rocks I will use it ecosystem and it will take tons of objects tons of polygons creating everything with inside the Terrigen, all what I need to do is just going in the shaders, displacement, have it fake shader, fake stones, and I can create a huge area of displacement of the stones. And if I create another stones on top, I can create small stones clumping on top one and just put compute node, which is a change uh, redone with the normalization. So I can even put it on the sides of the canyon, those rocks. So it is very powerful i think this is a very big string of the uh charging versus vu it's how the displacement work how work with well it's work with the terrain and how realistically and flexibility it's also provide and not just fake on you can also to do with the grass for example same in a view one time i did it render and so it was like billions of something polygons are great for each grass or field just see if i can do it it was insane okay here you have it fake grass you can create this shader which is create this grass on a background you can create and it's will look very real and very nice so that is a huge huge plus um also nodes as we speak about it is universal what i feel universal nodes it's meaning the same node you can use it for the uh, shader you can use it for terrain shape you can use it for clouds for this this all this stuff so it's kind of universal uh, to some case because it depends on what output input it provided if it's the color if it's numeric or it's the vector so based on this can be different but overall it is reusable um, so we'll have it about uh, displacement we'll have it about realistic look all new updates that Hachin constantly I, I notice they release all the time same as actually with the VU the new updates coming all the all the time and like latest with the new path tracing with the water reflections with the true transparency and all the stuff it's actually new shader support so it's very very big improvements cloud atmospheres so overall and of course the for some people it's maybe will be the biggest biggest different and biggest plus it is a pricing no question the charging it's first non-professional use for this no commercial it's a free it's have some limitation but it's a free and second price for the professional users it's way inexpensive versus vu vu used to be very expensive now they switch to the subscription mode which a lot of people don't like it and i understand why uh personally i still be uh depend on a day or I change my mind may I say it's good it's a bad but I still not sure I do prefer owning some products that still kind of have it in case if something happened I cannot pay I still own something I can use it versus you must to pay every time so it's like a taxations or something I don't know but anyway point is this uh, pricing it's a huge difference between how Terrigen operated and a VU so overall um, I will say the charging is powerful but you must to understand how nodes work and it is more for the people who like to go under engine and tweak with the settings based on the nodes on the properties of the nodes so it is your visual tool you can use it but it's more as a reference and a view your visual tool it's where you work and in some cases your nodes it will be more additional things so right here it's kind of overview of terrigen and let's go on right now just we'll look on another applications okay let's go ahead and look on a view right now um versus terrigen it is a beast okay it's totally different application it's covered so many options that is um overwhelming many times so just few of them versus this it's have it ecosystem which by itself a huge um 
not just the distribution of the plants. It is where plants can evolve. They're changing with the time. They're growing with the time. They also can um, evolve. They can change seasons. They can um, effect to the wind, effect to the breeze, effect to a lot of, lot of things. So it is a huge difference. So this is one with the ecosystem. Okay, next, it does have a particle system. So it's a primitive particle system, but it's there. So if you need it, you can create a um, flock of birds flying, bees, other things. You can create uh, falling leaves. You can create multiple different things with the ecosystem and effector, all this, effect, you can apply to them. So it is um, quite a bit to this. <clears throat> Next, because we speak about ecosystem, ecosystems, it's not necessarily plants. It can be applied object. Uh, rocks have a huge collections of the different type of the rocks. You can do it. And again, they distribute it. It is type of the rocks. It's not exactly the same rocks, which is need to understand this. And many times when populations you're going to do, you add five, six different rocks and they're randomly distributed. Here it is actually type, like type of the tree. And based on that type of the tree, it will create. So every time like plant, rocks, or for example, like the plant, if you look, we can create exactly the same species, but it will look totally different in the structures and position. So this is a big, big um, different. And it's one of the biggest plus of the view. Uh, next things, it is uh, how terrain work here. For example, and a new edition was add a real world terrain import. And I have some review on this in videos, so you can look how it's work. But overall, you have a two terrains. You have procedural and you have a high field terrain. Similar what in a terrain you have it because in terrain you everything is procedural and you can have a high field important. And a high field actually import work very well in Terrigen. I like how they handle that. But same things in a VU, you can create this way. So the only the different I found in a VU, and it's again, huge plus, it is uh, sculpting. So we can go inside the terrain editor and right here you can see you have like almost editing a tool. It's not of course ZBrush, but you still have it all this element of um, creating, reducing, you know, create a hill, making top, and it's not just to go up and down, like on high field, you can always create a 3D sculpting, so you can bulge on the side in creating overhanging cliffs. So we can go on the side, and we can overhang or create different ones. So the elements that you do inside the Terrigen you need to do with displacement. So right here, I can have it more precision. Beside that, the precision when it's played, it's when you re-enable with the like plants and you can see with your other objects. So you can actually build more around the object and sculpt around the areas. Uh, beside that, if you work on the largest um, terrains, infinity terrains, which is included, you can isolate a specific section, work just on the section and put it back. So how I say, this is quite a bit terrain editor. It is a big plus for those people who are interested to customizing specific areas. So it does give you a lot of flexibility. Big, big minus on this, any time when you use sculpting and when you do 3D sculpting, it is going like a crazy with the polygons. So you can uh, preview in some cases, Okay, like right here, and we can look on the mesh. Okay, let's come closer. And it's become very crazy amount of the polygons, how it will create it. So it is with uh, minus with this, you always need to pay price, but it's there. So I wish this was a little bit more optimizing on the sculpting in a way like, for example, a ZBrush or other things working. I, again, um, it's allowed you not just the sculpting, you can also paint with materials, so you can create different materials layers. And I think the shaders or materials in VU, um, they are have it stronger than inside the terrigen because how you work with them. And again, it's totally different uh, animal here as well. Because with um, material editor, 
you can create all these different type of materials including new supports for the PBR material and PBR not just import it's also exporting PBR materials so if you can create it and you want to work with other applications you can actually export PBR from here and you can create a multiple infinity layering uh, all these layers of the materials have a um, huge effect how they will work okay like for example create new one layer and we can you can change how the presence work how they affecting all these locations i mean it is very um large a uh, lot of lot of options you can modify inside the materials so so far we will say it's a terrain editor ecosystem material editor it is um more advanced than inside the terragen okay so um uh, next we'll speak about atmosphere settings so atmosphere settings is kind of done and optimizing a little bit nicer so we can go atmosphere editor and right here you have it all your options including your particle rain and snow environmental so all is different even include clouds um it does a little bit get confused with clouds inside the vu with the, all this uh, density past what is meaning and it will take a little bit time to learn but i think it's really related to any applications but so far what we saw it is um visual however you need to understand that with vu and they done very well to underlay this so it is in a church and if you remember the nodes it was our main thing so if you look in a church and this is area it's where i will primarily work so my video, it will be probably mostly for the reference of me, how it's look. And this is my workspace. However, if we, we look inside the view, this is my primarily space. And if I need a tweak and adjust something, then I will go inside the function editor. And if you're not familiar with function editor, okay, so let's go ahead, open one. And it is kind of apply to almost any subject inside the terrain we can create inside the objects sun whatever any environment and right here we have a huge collection of the nodes it's one thing what i says about terrigen the sum of the nodes are a little bit limited how many you have here you have it um same node type of the system so we have it nodes and except instead going up and down let's go left and right so you have a little bit different location but overall it's a node system here you can of course um have it a little bit more complex but same things you access to the properties when you click on node and if you notice it have a huge different type of the node so you can access a uh, very large different types of the fractals just even look on a different fractals and you have it all this multiple terrain fractals and beside them you have it noise nodes which is also can apply towards the fractal. So how I say it is um, more on this and the function editor, it's a little bit more complex. I found in a Terragen, not everything can apply to the function. Some properties, it just, you cannot link. So in a Vue, nice things, you can publish some of those parameters for your properties. So allowed other way in another function so you can access those properties you just created because you published them anyway it's way more to go over this but i think underlying it's stronger in this way of course the clouds and atmospheres it is one of the biggest string of the vu from day one it was nicely done how i say in a um, atmosphere settings introduction of photometric spectral atmosphere which is great somewhat realistic look however Many times I just use a standard spectral if I need to do illustrations. But I did find uh, when you compare out of the box without twinking that Terrigen provide for me, again, personally, a little bit more natural look render versus Vue out of the box. So, however, you can both applications, you can tweak with the settings, lighting and atmosphere settings to create almost any type of look you wanted. And... Uh, we we'll have a little bit more flexibility with this versus Terrigen. So it is kind of um, strings, but plus and minus. Okay, so next, of course, inside the Vue, you have all this um, 
elements, you have your primitives, you have primitive particles, you can create this, you can create meta clouds, you can create individual hero clouds, isolated clouds, so it's very flexible with atmosphere and the clouds weigh um, more than Terrigen at the current state. However, Terrigen very actively catching up with what Wu can do it. Um, let's speak about couple minuses what I have it. And oh, by the way, before this, they have it also additional options for some people who use it. It's a NPR render. It is more as an art drawing, if you like it. It's have it animation modules. It's have it all these additional properties to modify. However, um, I'd say that one of the biggest minus for many people is when they switch to the subscription model. So it's meaning you need to pay $19, $20 a month just to get a basic version. It does come with the Plan Factory, but however, it is come with the VU and Plan Factory. In all time, you used to have it free versions. You can also buy cheap the Pioneer version and you can upgrade with the modules, which I know a lot of people love this because they can start easy. And as they're going, they can add additional new module every week and it's feel this you know, every month or whatever. And it feels like you're kind of increasing. So I think for some people, the um, subscription module Subscription model for the VU was a big minus and a stop using because of that. Because it does not feel your ownership. Like, for example, you cannot pay one month. Now you don't have a VU at all. Um, so the next also, it is, again, with subscriptions. They do have it, um, student version. They can have it other things, but it's missing, I think, that element of the entry. Uh, next things, a stuff that happened with the cornucopia. And it is um, also big negative impact. For example, the after Eon uh, Bentley acquired the Eon software, and this was some other elements happen, and the cornucopia need to be shut down, so they closed there. And the problem is, beside a lot of um, contributors lost the kind of place to share their own products with other people. It is destroyed the central community for the Eon. So for the Terrigen, it's always was Terrigen form. So you can go there and you can just post everything. After this, a lot of artists, who artists, um, not the studios, but single artists feel isolated. I receive a lot of information from people where they says, hey, I purchased a lot of stuff. I don't have it any access. All my money is wasted now, all in panicking. Or says, hey, where I can ask questions, where I can do all this stuff. Eon does try to recover this. And by the way, if you have a problem, if you want to recover any of your purchase, contact the support, uh, tech support with Eon. They respond very fast on this. They actually, I, it's take like a few hours for me when they respond and send me a link with downloading. So if you need it, if you want to recover any of your content from Cornucopia, contact the tech support. They will help you they will help very fast and you'll have your content just let you know however uh well however they're not kind of forum i try to create or create forum on a geek at play but it is kind of floating and not very active so it does not have this central community for the view i think after kind of done it's kind of dissolved and a lot of pushed a lot of people away so it was not very good impact um but it Eon does actively trying to, they're posting new videos on the YouTube channel. They're also posting in a blog actively. So they kind of try to work with community and help them. And also there's some other training materials providing. But overall, I think the cornucopia and how it was handled, it's personally, it was very, um, it was negative impact for not just me, but other people as well. Okay. Um, so we spoke about pluses, minuses, and another minus for me with the VU, it is sometimes it's still be, it's stable and nice application versus what was before, but it does sometimes get problems. And mostly what I find out it is when you kind of even resizing applications more related to uh, UI user interface, when you try to do something, sometimes application lock. Problem is it's cannot tra it's not traceable to specific. It just sometimes randomly happen. But overall, as a working, I can say it's a quite bit reliable application at this point. I've done a lot of stuff and it's still 
um, kind of working very good. And they did a lot of work towards this example. Another plus in strings, you have it after save, you have it snapshot save, you have it back rule and all stuff. So that is a huge add inside the Vue. Overall, between two applications, Terragen and Vue, if you come up with questions, what should I get? What applications I should get it? Should I get it, go with more expensive or monthly Vue? Should I go with the Terragen? It is on what you are, what kind of artist you are. If you are artists who like to have it as visual look and a placement, just drag and drop and place it object and kind of going this way, the Vue is will work one way. Terragen, it's a powerful tool, but it is more orientated towards people who like to work with the nodes, with more type in and use visual more as a reference. Vue is definitely a much more powerful application. It's have way more options that Terragen does not have it. Again, it is an ecosystem. It's a placement variety in different species when you're doing the simple particle system, um, atmospheric clouds, render, and PR, uh, save how say we can go on and on and on. It's way more inside the VU, how it's handled versus Terragen. But Terragen, it will render faster and out of the box, it will render more realistic versus the VU. In VU, you actually will need to spend a little bit more time to adjustment everything. Um, if you work with 3D stuff, Vu is actually have it better now on 3D and VR support versus Terragen. However, you can do this inside the Terragen as well if you're going inside the renders and set. So it's also you can do the stuff. So it is um, about same, but recent versions in the view, they add a lot of stuff to this. So they kind of, in my opinion, even get maybe ahead of the Terragen in that field. Um, but overall, um, Displacement definitely better inside the Terragen. So the shapes, fractals, and everything. And even when you take terrain and import before in Terragen, it was handled very nicely. However, with new addition in a Vue in Terragen, when you have it world um, terrain import, they actually start catching up with this of the real world terrain to the Terragen, but adjustment. So overall, um, I would recommend you to try, maybe play with both of them. They have a trial version for the Vue as well as a Terragen. They have a non-commercial or trial versions for the professional version. So you can play around, see which one you like it. And I hope that this overlook, this video, help you to kind of point on uh, some elements. I cannot cover everything in these videos. It will take hours and hours just to go over some of this functionality and everything. But I hope it's point some of my personal like, dislike in both applications and the future of those applications. If you have any questions or you have the suggestions or you want to know about some other applications, uh, be sure just post it your comment on a YouTube video. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Um, it will help me to kind of keep on this project going. Again, thank you for watching this video.